Now what I'd like to show is our air fuel torch, our silversmith torch. This torch is designed just to work with acetylene only and it actually gets the oxygen for the flame uh, from the atmosphere instead of a pressurized oxygen tank. It's obviously not as pure. An oxygen tank will give us almost pure oxygen. Uh, atmospheric oxygen which is drawn in to, to give us combustion in these tips is actually drawn through the base of the tip itself. It's pulled in, it's siphoned in as the gas flows through the torch and then uh, through the tip itself. And so that's where we get our oxygen, it's actually from the air. So this only requires uh, one tank, an acetylene tank, one regulator, one hose, and again, does not require a flashback arrestor or a check valve because we do not have the oxygen component with this. Now what we do, there are, there are different size tips. I'm going to start out with the smallest tip. This is our size double aught. Uh, there are six different sizes from double aught up to our number four tip. And what I want to do is show you the smallest and the largest tip. Now, pressures for this torch should be set at a, between 12 and 14 PSI on the regulator, on the outlet side of the regulator for all the tips. All the air fuel tips run at the same pressure. So we're going to be in that, we want to be in that range of 12 to 14 PSI. What I'm going to do now is, this is, it isn't necessary to purge this because it's only one gas. And so, but I'm going to use the alcohol lamp uh, just to to light this. You slightly open it up and we turn that on and you can see it is a bushier flame, a little bit larger. This is the smallest tip, it's a double aught. And this torch will work very well for uh, a lot of different soldering applications. It has some limitations compared to the little torch. Uh, it does not have a small or focused heat, it's a little heavier, it's a little bulkier, um, but uh, uh, it is sufficient for doing a number of, uh, of soldering brazing operations for the, the jewelry business. And what we'll do now to, to shut this off is very simply just turn the valve and turn it off. Now these are designed to run full on or, or off. I mean you have to turn it completely on to run it. You shouldn't run it, try to, to reduce the flame with these. They're designed to run full on. If not, the flame will recede in the tip and it will uh, overheat that tip, wear it out much quicker. So I'll just go ahead and extinguish this by turning the flame off, the fuel off. Now I'm going to show you the largest tip, and of course, as I mentioned, there are six different tips for this. This is the size four, it's a much larger flame, higher BTU output. Uh, the flame temperature is substantially less with this torch than it is with the little torch. But you'll see this is a very large flame, uh, can be used for some casting, for silver casting. Um, some people do use it for that to a certain amount. But uh, again, we open this up and we open it full on and turn it up all the way at that 12 to 14 PSI. So that's a relatively large bushy flame. So if we want to go to a smaller flame, you just simply have to go to a smaller tip. And the double lot being the smallest, that would be the smallest tip uh, flame obtainable with, uh, with this torch. So to extinguish, we're just going to simply turn this off. Now, you'll notice that there was a flash at the base of this tip. And I'm going to relight this torch and we'll focus on that just so you can see that. So I'm going to light it again. And I want you to look here and notice what happens when I shut this off. The bigger tips are going to flash out those holes because what it's doing, when I do is watch and see what happens, it's burning the residual gas left in the tube itself. Nothing to be alarmed about, it's normal. The bigger the tip, the larger that flash might be. It's nothing to be alarmed about, it's normal for this torch. And that's our Smith Silversmith uh, uh, torch. And just wanted to illustrate the variation in the, in the flames, and there are different sizes certainly in between the double-aught and four.